Welcome. <clears throat> My hat's a little crooked, eh? I sort of got up this morning and uh, went into that place where people work. And I walked around and smoked a joint and thought. And I decided I'm going to try and find an area where the boss, uh, where I can help, where I'm not getting into anybody's way. So I found an area in which to work which was to clean out pieces of wood between other pieces of wood so the packer doesn't have to do it to relieve a job. The boss comes up to me and says, you know what, the packer wants to work alone. So I asked the packer, are you okay? You want me to work with you? And the packer says, uh, he says, I'm listening to music. He says, I don't know what's going on. So the boss, the same boss that last week saw me drip my coffee, the same boss that saw me make a little drip on his desk, the same boss. So how does a bipolar get through with this? Because yesterday I went to my doctor I knew I forget. I was going to forget. Uh, yesterday I went to my doctor. My doctor says, well, I'm not really doing that well. But you are doing well, she said at the end. She says, you've got to do me three things. One is get that blood test. Two is to stop smoking the marijuana because you do know marijuana makes you uh, a little high, which puts you into that bipolar state. But that's my life. My life here is to study who I am, how I am there. I'm not destroying who I am, and if I destroy who I am, then I'm no better those who create the concentrates for the animals of the meat we eat, or the soya bean, or the corn of Monsanto's. I'm no more worse than that than anything. And second all, does anybody know what the cycle of marijuana is? Okay, it's a little over six months for restoration. Okay, um, also there are other things before that, but it's a little over six months. To restore your body, it takes over 80-something years. You see, the part that we're missing in this world that we don't seem to understand is that we start off with no memory. So when we get to about 80, 85, our memory starts to fade, 90, 100, right? That's the point that we're supposed to continue on to our second bar of life. But in this world, we die. Marijuana, six months depending on how you smoke it, right? It's all not, not all that hard. What it is, follow the Jamaican way. It's basically the only way. Plus, you have to add it into what you do in your life. You cannot have it add to a stress in your mind, or it will implicate you for driving and smoking the stuff. Can't do that. What I wanted to talk about, because obviously I forgot what I was talking about before my doctor. That's right. So I'm thinking, like, should I tell her that I already smoked before I came in to see her? Or next time, you know what I'm going to do next time? I'm not saying a word. I always try not to say a word, but she always says to me, so what's up? So does she want me to stay silent? And she says, you're all over the place. I'm all over the place because this is all the stories of my life. <laughs> How can you not be all over the place? Anyways, this is what I'm getting to into the myth of Zazareth. It means go back, right, to the first generation of four, great-grandfather, father, great-grandfather, grandfather, father, and you. That's your quarter. Okay, that's your four parts. But a dollar is not four parts. A dollar has to be made up of ten parts. So it's the ten cents that counts. If it was in this world, it would be the nickel that counts. If it was you, it would be your spirit that counts. Irrelevant to the fact that makes 41 cents. We're not talking about this. This is the find I made. My grandfather died in 1961. I forgot which date it was on excuse me, my great-grandfather. I couldn't find a tombstone of my grandmother. Now we're all in the same area. We're in a small town. We were all here. We're all going to die here and be buried in a place next to my work. So I look at my grandfather's stone, okay, which is next to one of his first sons that died, and, uh, and then the three children of his first son. I couldn't figure out from the first son's how my great-grandfather became a great-grandfather because I was not born till 1963. So he wasn't my great-grandfather at the time, neither my brothers or sisters. The three daughters, okay, of my grandfather, okay, which is the son of my great-grandfather, the three sisters, there were two girls and a boy, all younger than me, so they couldn't be it. Then my aunt, Pearl, okay, and I like to say that word, Pearl, Okay, because that's basically where the mind is, and she's got the mind. Her name goes with her. Now that I understand the gem like that she has, it's inside her head. I don't like it all, but it's okay. That's who she is. 
We all want to be who we are. So anyways, my aunt had a child, and he's only 40, so it can't be him. So my grandfather, my great-grandfather, Max, had five children. Izzy, Harry, Alex, Lily, and Jack. Okay, Jack's son, which would be like my grandfather's daughter, their son is five years younger than me, so it's not Jack's, and he only had one. Then there was Izzy. In Izzy, okay, there was Larry. His kids were younger. May one of them rest in peace. There was Lenny. Okay, his son is younger. Okay, there was Alan. His son is younger. And uh, we're going to go on to Harry. And Harry had two sons. One of them was, <clears throat> was David. And as far as I know, David was older than me. Okay, the, and um, David would be the um, great grandchild to Max because he's the only one that was born before the year that he died, okay? Or was he? It's a very close line between that birth. Very close line. So a close line, close line. So if to the fact that none of them were born, okay, None of them, not, neither his brothers nor his sisters, okay, because my mother was actually five years, uh, had her children at 19 years old, where everybody else had their children at 21, 22, and et cetera, et cetera. We are the oldest ones, so it seems like um, that there's something missing in the story. Who is the grandfather? Grandfather of who? Who is he the grandfather of? I mean, sorry, the great-grandfather of. i got to do a little bit more research, and I'm going to come back. And I still must look up the Sophia Zaritsky in the myth of Zazareth. Because apparently, in one of the myths, the maximizer of the Tsar had a previous wife and had two daughters. They were probably born five years before his first son. And they may have been the great-grandfather to who he is through them and not through us meaning there were two wives, and that would be part of the myth. I knew this was going to come to a true story. The myth was going to come true as well. Not only will the myth come true, but everything else I made up hypothetically in between will also come true. Raphael, 72.86. The myth and the hypothesis will continue on what I find in the next video. Thank you.